Hello students, welcome back to mathematics class. In today's class, let us solve some problems of uh, exercise 3.2. Okay, let us see it now. Lakshmi is a cashier in a bank. She has currency notes of denomination rupees 100, rupees 50, and rupees 10 respectively. The ratio of the number of these notes. Let the 
let the number of hundred rupees notes be. Let the number of fifty rupees notes be. Let the number of ten rupees notes be. How much means your right? Uh, your ratio. Can we write here? Okay. Let the let the number of let the number of hundred rupees notes. Rupees hundred notes. B. How much? Two eggs. Okay. Two eggs. Like that. Let the number of let the number of fifty rupees notes. Zero, zero, two zeros already cancelled. Now who is remaining? 
here four and four thousand. Four and four thousand. Four one sa, four one sa, four zero sa, four zero sa, four zero sa. Okay, so what is the value of x? X is equal to one thousand. X is equal to one thousand. After getting the value of x, how to put this value in this, not in this? Okay, we have to find out which denomination. Hundred rupees. How many notes are there in that kind of bill? I have to put the value of x in this. Okay, children. Shall we put? So therefore, the number of therefore the number of hundred rupees notes. Therefore, the number of hundred rupees notes. Two x. Two x means two into x x is how much? One thousand. Okay, so two into thousand, two thousand. How many notes are there? Hundred rupees. Two thousand notes are there. So like that, fifty rupees. Therefore, the number of Rupees fifty notes. How many are there? Two x, three x, three x, three x means three into thousand. Three into thousand, three thousand. Okay. So fifty rupees, three thousand notes are there. Ten, ten rupees. Rupees ten notes. Five x, five x means five into thousand. X is same every time. Which one? Five into thousand. Five into x. Five into thousand. Five thousand. So this is the denomination. Hundred rupees notes, two thousand. Are there fifty rupees notes, three thousand are there. Ten rupees notes, five thousand are there. Okay, children. So this is about. So question number fourteen. Now let us move to next question. Okay, hope you all understood. Question number fifteen. I have. I have a total. I have a total of rupees three hundred in coins. In coins. In coins of denomination. In denomination. Coins of denomination. Denomination. Rupees one. Rupees two. And rupees five. Rupees five. Rupees five. The number of the number of the number of rupees two points. The number of rupees two points is three times three times the number of three times the number of. The number of rupees five points. Rupees five points. The total number of points is the total number of points is points is one sixty. How many points? How many? How many points of? How many points of? Points of each denomination. Each denomination. Each denomination. Denomination are with me. Are with. Okay. This question is like.
yes question is it okay but there were there was currency notes here coins okay in the form of coins so read the question properly okay see here i have a total of rupees 300 i am having how much rupees 300 rupees in the form of coins the denomination rupees 1 Rupee one, rupees two, and rupees five. In the form of coins, in the form of one rupee, two rupees, and five rupees. Okay, children. So the number of two coins, rupee two coins, is three times the number of five coins. Like the previous question, ratio were not given, but in the form of sentence given something. That you are to understand. See here, denomination is three. One rupee, two rupees, five, and five rupees, five. Total number of points. Total points. Total amount given. I am having rupees three hundred. Total amount given. Okay. So denomination is given. Then, then what is given? See the number of rupees two points is three times the number of five. Given. Given. The total number of points is one sixteen. Is given. Total number of points one rupee, two rupee, five rupee. Like the total one sixty points are there. One sixty points are there. Totally, how many points are there? This, this, and this total. One sixty points are there. Okay, children. So now what you are finding out? How many points of each denomination are there? Each denomination. Right? 
then you will subtract from this. 550 plus 10, 60. Yeah, subtract from 160. Yes, no? Like this week or not, in day to day life this is going on. Yes, no? So, some amount of one could be signing me. So, if I give to somebody else, that amount could subtract from whatever I am having. Like that. So, these two you have to add. You have subtract from 160. Because 160 points are there total. 160 points you have subtract this like this. So, now I don't know any number. That's why what can I do means, sir? From 160, I have subtract. Which two points? Two rupee plus five rupee point. I have to subtract. Is it okay? So three x plus x like this we have to do. Okay. To get one rupee notes, how many are they? That is one sixty minus three x plus one x four x. We understand. Okay. One sixty minus four x. Okay. So now can we write this one here? Now let the let the number of let the number of pi rupee coin pi rupee coin let the number of pi rupees coin yes ok then the number of then the number of 2 rupee coin how many? 3 times more you know 3 times more than 5 so then the number of okay one rupee coin I need so what I write first I am having total number of coins how many are they? The total number of coins I am having total number of coins total number of coins one sixty total number of coins I am having one sixty okay in that you are five rupee coins some are how many are one rupee coin? That I don't know. So what I will write? Then the then the number of then the number of one rupee coin. One rupee coin. One rupee coin. How to find out? 160 from 160. Subtract. 160 minus these two. Five rupee coin and two rupee coin. Some you have to subtract. Okay, so 3x plus x. Yes. That time you will get the remaining point. Okay, so 160 minus 3x plus x. Yes, 4x. This is 1 rupee point minus. Okay, no. So here 5 rupee point x, yes, 2 rupee point 3x. Yes. 1 rupee point don't know me. First you have to see the sentence what is given there. 160 points are there. From 160, from 160 you subtract. These two sum. Okay, no children. So like this I did. So this is about the number of points. Now amount to what no children? See here amount is there. I have the total of how much rupees? 300 rupees I am having. So total amount of how much I am having? 100 rupees. So 300 rupees. Right children? So what you write first? The amount. The amount I have from the amount I have from five rupee coin. So five rupee coin x sign. Five rupees coin ten now there means fifty rupees will become or not. So five rupees x coins are there means five into x rupees I am having. 5 rupees 10 points means 5 into 10. 50 rupees I am having. So rupees how to find out? This and this number I have to multiply. Is it okay? So the amount I have from rupees 5 points. Rupees 5 points. Okay. That is 5 into x. Yes, 5x. This is the amount. 5 rupees point I am having. So then this is the amount of rupees. Rupees 5x. So then from, from rupee 2 points, 2 into 3x, 2 into 3x, the 2 3s are 6, rupees 6, rupees 6x, okay, so then from 
from rupees one. So that is rupee one. How many points are there? One sixty minus four x. So one sixty minus four x means one into one into this one into one sixty minus four x. Since this is a binomial, we have to put the bracket. Is it okay, children? So how many? One sixty one one sixty is one sixty minus one into four x. One into one sixty one sixty minus one into four x. Like this, is it okay? So one into one sixty is one sixty. One into four x that is rupees. So like this, you can write. Otherwise, rupees you can write outside the bracket. Is it common? Is it okay, children? So this is about amount. What is the total amount I am having? Total amount I have. Total amount. With me is rupees three hundred. Okay, so total means what I will do is that is I have to add. Okay, so we add now from here five x plus six x plus one sixty minus four x is equal to three hundred. Eleven. So now what you have to do here five plus six. Eleven. Eleven minus four. Eleven minus four. How much? How much? Seven x. Eleven. So it is seven x plus one sixty is equal to three hundred. I want seven x as it is. Yes, children. See five x plus six x. Eleven. Eleven minus four. Seven. Seven x plus one sixty is equal to three hundred. So then, seven x is equal to three hundred minus one sixty. Okay, that is seven x is equal to subtract zero minus zero zero. Ten minus six four two two minus one one. I want to write the x. X is equal to one forty divided by seven. Seven one zero seven two zero seven zero twenty by one is twenty. This is the value of x. Okay, so this x value you have to put in this number of points. You know, so number of five rupees one. How many are there? X are there. Therefore, the number of five rupees one can be written as x. X is equal to how many points? Twenty points. Right, which are twenty points. Then they hold the number of two rupee points. Two rupee points. How many three x? Three x is three into twenty. Three into twenty. Three twenty three. Three two is six. Sixty points. Then they hold the number of One rupee coin. One rupee coin is how much? One sixty minus four x. One sixty minus four x. One sixty minus four into x. X is how much? Twenty. That is one sixty minus four into twenty. Four twenty is a eighty. So one sixty minus eighty is How much? Eighty coins a day. Eighty coins a day. Okay, children. So the number of five rupee coins twenty coins a day. Two rupee coins sixty a day. Then the number of one rupee coins eighty a day. Eighty coins a day. Is it okay, children? Okay. So if you all understood this problem, so do it very carefully and learn. Daily, is it okay, children? So in the next class, we will move to some more problems of this and the next exercise. Till then, take care. Thank you.